What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Blush. This is a pizza guys, doesn't it look fantastic? Beautiful. So this is what we're eating today. I've made some of me Coralicious sauce. I haven't had this for absolutely ages guys. That's it there. I've put it at the start how I made it. In pictures, I haven't like recorded it all. Right, is that an okay angle for you? Today for my drink, I have got Iron Brew. I'm trying to use the um, normal daylight at my window, but I think the camera on that's causing like a shadow because it looks quite dark on here, but it mightn't when I play it back. So anyways, this guys is Chicago Town Stuffed Crust Limited Edition sweet honey and barbecue salami. Doesn't that look lovely? It's got a competition there. You have to um, get the barcode and stuff and see if you've won. So I'm going to do this. I'll let you know if I win. <laughs> and if I do win, you win a stay in a Chicago townhouse. So I might be coming to Chicago. <laughs> right. Oh, I can just see this looks the crust looks absolutely delicious on this. Oh wow. There's definitely a shadow getting caused on my face and that. Never mind. Oh, red hot this. I know I'm going to burn my mouth. Oh, I can't pick it up. But I want to eat it hot. Because that, um, my mouth's watering. Anyways, I should have really took a bite before I dunked it. Never mind. Cupful. Oh, that is really nice. It's like quite sweet off the honey. Basically, toro lift lip and <laughs> topping off. Oh, it's lovely that and the lovely barbecue. Mmm. My favourite bit of the beet bit of the pizza is the crust. Mm. Wow, these are lovely, these. Actually, it tastes like it's from a proper pizza shop. It looks like it as well. Mmm. Very nice, that, guys. Mmm. One thing that would have made it even better if it was cheese crust. Oh, that's really nice. It's so sweet. And that, uh, what was it? Barbecue salami. It's really nice as well. Oh, it's a lovely day today, guys. It absolutely lashed down from the heavens yesterday all day didn't let up and what a difference today is like two days are never the same in england <laughs> you can actually get all four seasons in one day yeah but yeah it's lovely now i've just beat my mom's because obviously 
yesterday was Monday and I usually go on a Monday but I just said I'm coming straight home from the school I don't want to be walking around um, in that rain it was awful mm. got red onions on top as well so nice unusual to have such a sweet pizza If you are like me, I love that combination like sweet and salty and sweet, sweet and spicy kind of combination. I love it. Even, well it's not even better, it's like nice with the Coralicious sauce as well. Mmm. That barbecue sauce is dead sweet as well. Mm. So this was bought again. Because <laughs> I've started since Aldi's uh, closed. It's getting like refurbished. I used to go in there every day as you know. So now like I'm going into heaven nearly every day because it's just along the road. <laughs> So we're actually seeing this when I dropped the kids off I called in a heron and I thought oh that looks lovely honey barbecue salami and I was right it is I won't be eating it all that's for sure oh it made me lovely um sticky belly pork last night obviously i didn't do a video but that's what we had for tea <coughs> i put a picture or a video yeah but um i should do it that side because every time i do it i'm pointing to the wrong side put a picture or a video here yeah. <laughs> um what was i gonna say oh yeah this time i just kept them in do you know how they come in strips the belly pork i kept them like in the full strip and done them how i usually do the little bits um but they were still lovely, but I prefer chopping, dicing them into three. Like chopping each slice into three. They're much better that way because I felt like the the fat on the le like on the full length was a bit too much where you don't notice it as much when they like chopped into cubes. But we still enjoyed it. It was still lovely, but I would definitely just in future dice them into the little cubes. That's a lot of me, it's lovely. Yeah, well, so I wonder if I win Chicago. <laughs> mm. Have I got any fans that live in Chicago? I'll come and see you if I get it. <laughs> filling this I don't know how like people couldn't like finish full pizzas especially the big ones like this mm. the crusts are delicious oh I don't know I might have to cut this out, but today at my mum's, does any of this watch uh, Gogglebox? Well, do you know the two, um, the gay couple, the two lads, <clears throat> and they've got the dogs? Well, the older one. Do you know at the minute everyone's changing the um, profile pictures to the cartoon version? <laughs> 
Last night, my uh, niece sent me mum, like me mum, cartoon version, but she had her glasses on. <laughs> she looks so like the old I want off goggle box, and she says, Christ, I look a double of him. And then just before I left there, she like got a picture of him and put her next to him. You'd think my brother and sister. <laughs> so I'll get her to send, is it? If she allows it, like, um, and I'll put it up, I'll let you see. <laughs> they look like twins. But obviously, if not, I'll have to cut all this out. <laughs> but yeah, just keep flipping it. I look a double of him off Google Box. And she really does. Because she always thought my uncle looked like him, but obviously, she looks like my uncle. <laughs> And she looks nothing like him, like in real life. It's just since it was turned into the cartoon version. Mmm. <laughs> Kenny's took a week off, guys. Um, basically from the jubilee. And um, we've got some wooden stuff because he wants to get the gazebo done. I was talking about this last year, wasn't I? It's still not done. Obviously, at the moment, wood's very expensive, but um, they had, like, a delivery at work, and, like, he's, like, saved, like, the humongous, big, long pallets, but the, the wood on top of the pallets is, like, three metres long, if not longer, and that's, like, the length we need for our gazebo. So he's, like, had it at work for ages. So he's took his saw in today, and he's going to, like, cut it down, uh, like, off the pallets. And then the lad who he works with will drop it off. Um, and then we can get the gazebo, like, um, I'll show you and remind you how I want it done. Uh, so we're just basically doing three sides, like, slatted. Just to make it look more of a, like, a garden room. And it's a bit more enclosed. Might be a little bit warmer of a night time with a new fire pit. Um, but with this extra wood he's getting, he can also extend it a little bit. So the little extended bit, he's going to try and make it into a little, like, bar area. Like he's going to put like a big long shelf at the front, at the side of the gazebo, and then the bar area will be behind him. So that'll be lovely. Oh, lush. What a big, big dollop. Of sauce there. <clears throat> so yeah, he's took a week off anyway, guys, because he wants to get that done. And then obviously it's over the Jubilee weekend and stuff and... The kids are off that week, so we, we'll probably get up to something. I don't know what yet, but we're bound to be doing something. So we need to buy um, more deck and oil, because we're deck and desperate for a new coat. And another black fence paint, because some of the fence panels are looking a bit green, you know, when they start getting green. And this side's they've got loads of new posts because in the wind it like blew down their fence so the new posts need painted black as well so once that's done it'll be because summer's basically here now isn't it nearly once he's done that i told you a while ago it was probably last month i bought a lovely um it's like a sagey green panel effect wallpaper but I, I keep looking at me brick because I love me brick and I think it's only wallpaper it's not real brick and I love the panel like the sagey green and I know I love it when I do it but I don't know if it's going to be like the kind of wallpaper I'm going to get sick of quickly where well, this is timeless I think it's just always going to look lush but I suppose and it's desperate me living room I've had this wallpaper which is um like a good for me because I usually change me like my living room every year but uh, this wallpaper has been up well I've had with so far um three year now yeah three three or four years I've had me sofa and um I'm sure I've done the wallpaper just before I got me sofa so that's been there for a while but it just everywhere needs a good like a white like a good freshen up so you will do it, you put it on, you put the panelling on, so that'll like lighten the room up, I would imagine. I just hope I don't get sick straight away and like regret it. But we'll see. I'm sure I can buy it again if I really miss it. 
But yeah, the panelling's lovely. Dead smart. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to have to f be able to finish this one. We shall find out. Drip, drip. Mm -mm. Mm. Got loads of salami there. I'm wearing all black. That's come off all right, like. <laughs> oh, so after this, I think I'm just going to go and sit in the garden. Not much needs done in the house. Kenny gutted. <clears throat> Sorry, I nearly spit that out at you. He gutted the kids' bedroom last night, pulled all the toy boxes out, binned a load of toys they don't play with, got rid of everything, give everything a good clean. I was meant to do it like the other, was it last week or the week before? But I got our bedroom done. I just hadn't done the boys'. And he said he'll do that, which I was glad because he like, I don't know whether that's because he's a, like a boy, like a man. He like um, places the toys like really good. Like I would just probably put them all in boxes like no clutter anyway and like put hide them away but he puts them on the shelves and that lovely like as if the, it's an actual play set. So he's a better person doing the kids' bedroom. <laughs> I'm full. And I'm not forcing it because I don't want to feel sick. Mmm. <sighs> So I'll leave that for Kenny. Stick it in the air fryer. Crisp it back up. Oh! Oscar's doing his little um, kid stage one sats this week. He doesn't even know. Because that young, they really don't even say it's a test or anything. They just have little groups that have snacks. Um, he come out and he says, we had to do really hard work. <laughs> I went, oh, did you? I went, was it okay for you? He went, yeah, I'd done it all. And then he says, some people didn't finish, like, because he says there was 23 pages. <laughs> oh, bless him. Obviously, there wouldn't have been a lot on each page, but he, like, knew exactly how many pages he had to do. He went, some people didn't finish it. Um, but the teacher kept giving with snacks and drinks and stuff. Obviously, he didn't know, because they don't call it a test like for that age they like try and make it like fun and it's literally that it's the teachers like it's not they do like get marks back but overall it's the teachers what the teachers think like if the like the child doesn't do as good as what the te teacher thinks they usually do then the teachers have got the final say on the obviously it's not too serious just yet is it so definitely nothing to worry about mm. So yeah, he's doing that, but he's loving the fact that um, we get snacks and drinks and stuff. So it's like extra special. <laughs> well, that's it. What time is that? Can't see. No, I'm blind. I'm going to go and just clean up this mess, what I've made. There's a few be breakfast dishes still there. I've just got, not long got home from my mum's and I thought I'd put my pizza straight in. Get this video done. Now I'm going to go and sit in the garden, enjoy some sunshine before I have to pick the boys up. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Right guys, I'll see you later. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.